temperature and its measurements. Temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness of a body. Temperature is measured with the thermometer. The unit of temperature is the degree Celsius or the Kelvin. There are different types of thermometer. This includes liquid in glass thermometer, platinum resistance thermometer, constant volume gas thermometer, and the thermocouple. The thermometric property of a substance is that physical quantity in the substance that varies uniformly with temperature. These physical quantities include volume, resistance, pressure, electromotive force, etc. The physical quantities used in measuring temperature, therefore, are volume, pressure, resistance, electromotive force. There are two fixed points in a thermometer. The lower fixed point, also called the ice point, is zero degrees Celsius. And the upper fixed point, or steam point, 100 degrees Celsius. This is simplified in this liquid in glass thermometer. To measure the temperature of the range T greater than 0 degrees Celsius and less than 100 degrees Celsius, the formula is that temperature we are looking for divided by 100 is equal to the volume at that temperature minus the volume at the ice point divided by the volume at the steam point minus the volume at the ice point. Alternatively, because the volume of the liquid is directly proportional to the length, we can also use that unknown temperature divided by 100 is equal to the length at that temperature minus the length at ice point divided by the length at 100 degrees Celsius minus the length at 0 degrees Celsius. Example 1. The ice and steam points of a mercury in glass thermometer of centigrade scale and of uniform bulk correspond respectively to 3 cm and 19 cm lengths of mercury thread. When the length is 12 cm, the temperature is dash. The options are a. 32 degrees Celsius B. 48 degrees Celsius C. 56 degrees Celsius and D. 65 degrees Celsius From the given question, the length of the mercury thread that corresponds to the ice point L0 is 3 cm and the ice point is 0 degrees Celsius and the length of the mercury thread that corresponds to the steam point is 19 cm, that is temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. We are asked to find the temperature that corresponds to a length of 12 cm. The unknown temperature is theta and the corresponding length is 12 cm. So if we apply the formula theta over 100 is equal to L theta minus L0 divided by L100 minus L0. We now get theta over 100 is equal to 12 minus 3 divided by 19 minus 3. Theta over 100 is equal to 9 divide by 16. 16 theta is equal to 900. Theta will give us 900 over 16, which is 56 degrees Celsius approximately. By this solution, option C is correct. Example 2. 
which of the following properties of matter cannot be utilized for temperature measurement? A. Length of a liquid column B. Volume of gas at constant pressure C. The resistance of a metallic wire D. Current produced in a photoelectric effect To pick the right answer to this question we consider the options individually Option A is correct because the length of the liquid used in the thermometer is proportional to the volume and which changes uniformly with temperature Anything that changes uniformly with temperature is used for temperature measurement Option A can be used B. The volume of gas at constant pressure varies directly with the absolute temperature So because the volume varies with temperature, volume of gas at constant temp uh, pressure can be used to measure temperature C. The resistance of a, me a metallic wire Yes, like in platinum resistance thermometer, the resistance of platinum varies uniformly with temperature and that's why it is used in resistance, uh, platinum resistance thermometer to measure temperature so this can be used as well current produced in photoelectric effect this one, the current produced by this process cannot be used to measure temperature but current produced through thermocouple or thermoelectric thermometer can be used to measure temperature so the right option is D Option D is correct.